I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Sudan International University uh, for organizing this international conference uh, with local and international partners uh, under the theme of integrating climate change into sustainable development at uh, the role of higher education institutions and research center. I am uh, highly indebted to Professor Alam Ahmed for inviting me to participate uh, in this conference. Uh, my presentation today will center around the topic uh, climate change and sustainable livelihoods in Africa, uh, implication for sustainable development goal two. Uh, the structure of my presentation is as follows. I will start with the introduction. I will take you to climate change and um, uh, as a global phenomenon. I will take you to climate change and uh, livelihood and then look at climate change and sustainable development goal and conclude. Uh, as a way of introduction, uh, climate change uh, is a global phenomenon uh, that um, presents an enormous uh, complex challenge to human race. And we know that Africa is with a population of over 1 billion people, uh, covering an area of about 29 million uh, kilometers. And Africa is the second largest continent in the world after Asia, and our population is among the fastest growing and youngest in the world. And of course, uh, this continent uh, 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 is not doing well in terms of population growth rate. Uh, if we are not very careful, we are likely to overtake China and India uh, very soon. Now, the people's livelihoods in Africa uh, are intimately uh, linked to the landscapes uh, in which uh, our population, our people live, and are, are particularly vulnerable to changes uh, in these landscapes. So our people are very uh, vulnerable to these uh, uh, landscapes. And Africa, as we know it today, is characterized by changes in livelihood activities, uh, which uh, certainly result in a number of things that we see around, uh, like um, uh, clearing land and forests uh, uh, because we want to really uh, grow food and uh, of course in the quest of uh, industrialization uh, we set up industries and then we also know that uh, other activities include landfills uh, for garbage, uh, burning fossil fuels uh, for, uh, and more so here oil and gas and, um, uh, and coal to a small extent actually. Uh, and of course, uh, so many other activities in that direction uh, which result in climate change. Now, of course, uh, climate change impacts are felt at the local and uh, regional levels where loss and damage to vital aspects of, uh, uh, of communities and uh, populations are experienced uh, most. And of course, such losses and um, uh, damages result in uh, issues that relate to uh, food security uh, and uh, uh, population displacement, uh, also uh, safety of the individuals and health uh, and livelihoods of people. Now, according to the United Nations Climate uh, Action, uh, uh, we know that climate change refers to the long-term natural uh, or human activity induced shifts in temperatures and, uh, and weather patterns. Now, human activities in Africa mainly uh, increase the concentration, actually the creation, the development and um, concentration of greenhouse uh, gases uh, in the atmosphere and uh, uh, more so uh, carbon dioxide, uh, methane, uh, nitrous oxide, uh, hydrocarbons, uh, plus many other uh, greenhouse, uh, greenhouse gases that act like a blanket uh, wrapped around the earth, uh, trapping the sun's heat and uh, raising temperatures. Now, as we speak now, ladies and gentlemen, our greenhouse gas concentration are at their highest levels in two million years. And uh, in fact, the earth today is about 1.1 degrees Celsius warmer than it was in the late 1800. And uh, the last decade, that is between 2011 and 2020, of course, as we move to 2022, uh, was the warmest on record, according to evidence available. And uh, unfortunately, as we know it, ladies and gentlemen, our temperature rise is only the beginning of the story because the Earth is a system uh, where everything is connected. So changes in one area uh, can influence changes in other areas. So meaning that uh, human race, uh, if, uh, if we don't act very fast, human race is likely to suffer. 
And uh, of course we know that um, climate change has been uh, identified as a leading uh, a human and environmental crisis in the 21st century. Uh, and we know that uh, although Africa contributes little uh, to uh, greenhouse gases, uh, we know that uh, it's the most vulnerable and uh, we are going to, if we don't act very fast, we are likely to suffer. Now, if nothing is done by African countries to manage current human activities, emissions of greenhouse gases are predicted to continue to increase for decades. And of course, uh, this will affect our people and uh, sustainable livelihoods on this planet Earth. And, and what is very interesting here is that what affects uh, African countries will also affect um, uh, uh, other parts, so uh, they will not be immune. So here we shall be seeing uh, the relationship between Sustainable Development Goal uh, 13 that talks about climate change, uh, issues of climate uh, to, uh, of course, uh, other SDGs. We know that SDG 13 calls for urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. And this will be related to other SDGs like SDG 2, uh, food and nutrition, SDG 3, uh, which is human well-being, SDG 5, which is gender equality, or uh, SDG 6, uh, water security, SDG 7, uh, energy security, SDG 9, uh, resilient infrastructure, uh, SDG 12, uh, sustainable consumption, SDG 14, sustainable use of marine resources, and SDG uh, 15, sustainable management of forest, uh, biodiversity, and the like. Now we move to the second aspect, which is climate change and livelihoods. I know I've already talked about uh, uh, livelihoods, but allow me to say, uh, to make one or two points here before we move to the third aspect. Now we know that increased warming of climate has implications uh, for people's livelihoods and survival. And of course, um, uh, climate change as we know it today, it has resulted in the sea level rise along the uh, African coastlines uh, contributing to uh, increases in the uh, frequency and severity of coastal flooding, uh, increase, uh, and of course other things like erosion, soil erosion, and salinity in low-lying cities. Uh, for example, uh, in 2021 and 2022, Africa was hit by a number of high-impact events uh, for example, lingering droughts, uh, extensive floods, and uh, tropical cyclones uh, compounded by a number of things like protracted uh, conflicts uh, and uh, economic slowdowns and downturns, as well as the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, uh, this certainly resulted into uh, jeopardizing food security uh, and also driving population uh, displacements and uh, leading to devastating losses and damages, uh, thereby uh, impairing socioeconomic development. Now, I'll tell you that, uh, for example, in 2022, especially the first two months of 2022, uh, cyclonic activity uh, in the Southwest Indian Ocean intensified. And of course, this intensified with the severe uh, typical weather systems are uh, killing around 890 people and affecting over 2.8 uh, million people across Southern Africa. In January 2022, uh, Tropical Storm Anna affected more than 1.3 million people and caused 171 deaths. It affected, for example, Madagascar, Mozambique, Malawi, Zimbabwe. Uh, and in February 2022, uh, tropical cyclones Basirai and Mnat affected 423, 800 people and killed 136 in Madagascar. Uh, while tropical storm Damako affected more than 33, 700 people and caused 14 deaths in Madagascar. And of course, uh, uh, more than 10,000 people were also affected or displaced. Uh, and in Mozambique, uh, the story is more or less similar. In March 2022, uh, tropical cyclone Gombe weather systems impacted nearly 900,000 people and killed 103 in Mozambique. Of course, so affecting 736,000 uh, 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 people, uh, including uh, 63 deaths. And in Malawi, uh, we had 39 uh, people uh, who were killed and 159,000 people also displaced. In April 2022, 
A moderate tropical storm, Jasmine, affected nearly 5,000 people in southern Madagascar. So these things continue uh, to manifest. And we know that while torrential rains uh, 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 have led to flooding and uh, uh, mudslides, uh, all these have impacted the lives of many, uh, many, many people uh, in um, uh, southern Africa and also uh, eastern part or central part of Africa. And the heavy rains of, uh, and floods uh, have contributed to outbreaks of uh, diseases, right, waterborne diseases, and has also heightened the problem of food security and malnutrition. As we speak today in the African continent, we see rising prices uh, for food products or commodities. Uh, all these are a result of what we call uh, climate change, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we also see um, other diseases like cholera outbreaks. So, uh, these were reported in Malawi, uh, Mozambique, Tanzania, and Zambia. Uh, and of course, um, with an increase in, in, in malaria, uh, which was reported in Mozambique and Madagascar. And of course, uh, measles, which was also recorded in Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. Now, in addition, uh, health authorities in Malawi and Mozambique declared uh, the uh, outbreak of wild polio, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, I think the cases are too many, and uh, we all understand uh, the severe impact. In Uganda alone, uh, my country, ladies and gentlemen, landslides in Bugisu sub-region have uh, reportedly killed at least 1,000 people over the past decade and left thousands of families displaced and homeless. And we know that in 2022, floods in the eastern region triggered by heavy rainfall also claimed lives of many people. Right, all these are things uh, that we see uh, taking place. Now, I will not really go into other things, but let me now move towards uh, the closing uh, of my presentation here. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to move to the third and last part of my presentation, uh, which is uh, climate change and sustainable development goal. Uh, we also uh, know that uh, the inhabitants of developing countries, more so the African countries, depend on uh, their livelihoods on uh, natural resources, that is water, uh, soil and pasture. And of course, uh, this uh, causes them to be more vulnerable to climate change. So uh, achieving uh, sustainable development, uh, ladies and gentlemen, in Africa here, should be among the main policies of developing countries uh, whose economy is dependent on natural resources. And we need to adjust our agricultural sector to climate change. Uh, and of course we know that um, uh, of the 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals which were established, goal number two, right, SDG number two, which is end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture is essential in the success of many of the targets and indicators for the remaining 16 uh, Sustainable Development Goals. And achieving a sustainable development goal two of zero hunger requires a multifaceted approach uh, which will maximize the synergies uh, with the climate change goals and then minimize the trade-off uh, of uh, climate. So here we see that uh, policies and practices um, uh, designed by African countries to achieve SDG goal number two will inevitably result in synergies and trade-offs uh, with the climate change goals. And we see that uh, understanding these trade-offs and synergies will allow uh, synergies to be maximized. Uh, for example, achieving SDG 2 may promote land for conservation. Uh, it may also uh, uh, promote sustainable agriculture. Uh, it will also promote um, uh, achieving climate smart technologies and um, uh, agricultural trade which takes advantage of climate uh, shifts and of course increased uh, gender equality among many other things. So in other words that uh, there is need uh, for African countries to come up with the conscious efforts that uh, will reduce uh, the increase of greenhouse gases. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me uh, stop there. Uh, in the interest of time, but I want to thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to come and talk about this important subject 
uh, of um, uh, climate change and, and, and um, uh, sustainable livelihoods, uh, implications for sustainable development goals. Thank you very much.